I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're returning to our Microsoft Access playlist, where we're going through the main types of queries that you can do in Microsoft Access. And in this episode, we're going to cover the make table query, which is very, very useful for taking your queries and turning them into tables so that you can use them for other purposes. So without further ado, let's get to our make table queries in Microsoft Access. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this uh, demonstration is we're using the same uh, file that we've been using for uh, many of our other uh, demonstrations and I filtered it to the climate data and uh, on our left there so you can see this is our our climate change data um, that we uh, got from the World Bank and uh, it is uh, got all kinds of neat um, measures and things uh, from the year 1990 to like 2011 uh, with all kinds of uh, 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 measures in there and, and uh, countries and things like that. And so what we'd like to do is we want to make a query. Um, so we'll, we'll say new query design and you can close the little pop-up that comes. And then you can just drag the table or tables that you want. Uh, onto the gray area and you can see this this is our field list uh, and we can do a select star which means to uh, select all of the rows so we don't have to pick them individually and what we'll do is we'll click on the country name so say we only want all of the measures for one country and so we'll put Canada in quotes uh, under the country name and you'll see I've ticked off the the show box so that it doesn't add another a column onto the end and then you can see uh, I've clicked on the make table button at the very top on the ribbon and that's going to pull up this little uh, box here and you can type in the name of the table that you want and then click OK and then um, you can see that's our filter so you could have multiple tables joined in here or, or whatever, but this is a simple example. And so I'll, I'll hit save and then uh, we'll, we'll call this Canada uh, make, uh, make a serial table um, so that um, it's grouped together, or make climate table <clears throat> so that it's grouped together with our climate data. And you can see as soon as I hit OK, it uh, pops up on the left there even though we filtered it because we have the word climate in there. And so that's our, our query. We've selected everything in, in our left row. Uh, so that means get all of the fields. And then we have one simple criteria which says Canada. And then to run it, um, you can just click run here. Or you can double click it in the list on the left, but I just click clicked run while we were in design. And it says, do you want to paste 58 rows in a new table? And that's exactly what it does. So as you can see, if I double click on my Canada climate ta uh, data table, you can see it grabbed all the rows um, just for Canada and it stuck them into a table for me. Um, so it's persistent, unlike a query, which uh, a query is always done at runtime. So if you had some situation that you needed to make a table on a you know, on, on a regular basis or something like that, you could make a table like this and then use it for your purpose and then save it um, so that you can use it again later if you rerun your query. And so that's how we get our climate, um, uh, our climate change data into a new table. Um, and uh, say if we wanted to do this again, uh, we can make another new query and we could um, just select the rows or the columns that we wanted. Um, so say we only wanted um, country, you know, data for 2011 uh, down to 2008, say, and uh, and and uh, maybe we want to have like um, uh, we'll say we want a particular series or set of series, so we'll we'll throw a like operator in there into the criteria so we'll say like serial um, so I know there's one called serial yields but I don't know if there's any other ones 
uh, in there. And so we're still in, in, a, in a select statement. You can see I haven't even selected the make table yet. And so when I click on the, the data sheet view, it gives us all the data there. Um, but what I can do also is I can add a new measure. Um, so say you wanted a new measure as part of your uh, as part of your output, and this is a good place to do those things. So uh, you could do a calculation of numbers or something like that. For this case, I'll just say uh, I'm going to take the left three uh, letters of each country because um, I need that for some reason, and um, that's going to give me um, the the left uh, the left characters of the country name. So. Uh, I'll do a comma three in there using the left statement. And now if I look at my data sheet view of my query, you can see, oh, well, there's my calculation on the end. And that's exactly what we want to see there. And uh, um, so, so that's a nice way of creating the query. But now, uh, of course, we need to save it. So what if I saved, um, you know, my select query, because I haven't even clicked on make table yet. Um, I could save uh, my select query that we just made. You can see it's right there, serial make climate table, but I didn't convert it yet. Say it was some existing query that I had or I forgot to click make table. Well, you can actually click make table um, after you created the query. And so uh, in this case, you know, it asks us again, you know, what uh, table name do you want to make? and so I'll say make my serial uh, climate change data. And now you can see uh, if, I, uh, if I run it now, um, I've changed it to make table and I saved it and the icon changed on the query in the list. And so I can run it um, just like we did before. It says, do you want to um, put in 233 rows into a new table? And boom, there we go. Um, so now we have a table that has just the columns that we wanted plus a calculation on the end. And that is how you can do make table queries in Microsoft Access. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion about uh, how to do make table queries in Access. If you like what you saw today, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you see the bell. And also, if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer any uh, questions that you might have. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.